This is a construction site unlike any other. We're in Turin, on the premises of the Talis Alenia Space, the company that has been assigned to build part of the future space station, developed in partnership with the US, the EU, Canada and Japan. The objective, to take man to the moon once again. This will be the astronauts' quarters. Once they've entered the space station, the astronauts will be able to move about in three or four modules. That's important, because they're not going to spend all their time here. The idea is that the time spent in the module is above all for resting and eating. The future space station, called Gateway, will be made up of seven modules. Once it's launched into the Moon's orbit, this cargo module will deliver supplies twice a year. It's capable of transporting up to five tons of equipment. It's like a giant space taxi that will make deliveries to the space station. It will supply everything, food, clothes, or even active experiments that the astronauts will be able to pick up and transfer to the station's modules in order to continue the experiments in orbit. And this is what the astronauts' living quarters will look like. This is a life-size model used for tests. Man's return to the moon will serve as a base for future expeditions. Gateway will serve as a technological laboratory to prepare the giant leap to Mars because the ultimate goal is to send man to Mars in order to develop the exploration of humanity, get to know our universe, to better know space that surrounds us and also ultimately to find alternative resources to those that are little by little running out on planet Earth. Donald Trump and his administration are thinking of pulling out of the project without NASA's participation Gateway's launch into orbit, expected to be before 2030, could be compromised.